So welcome back guys to my Docker tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to define our uh, data layer for the project that we're making currently on Docker. Uh, the microservices based architecture containerized application on Docker. So what I'm going to do today, uh, in fact, let's just talk about what we did in the previous video. Okay, what we did in the previous video was that we uh, created a Node.js backend, we wrote some Docker file, and we ran our application into the container, right? But today uh, we will dive deep into our data layer, not just the application backend. So uh, firstly, I'm not going to use MongoDB with Neo4j, which more people use. I'm going to use uh, um, Neo4j, which is a graph database uh, for your applications. And I love it. It's an alternative to relational based schema. And I will just spend one or two minutes just to convince you uh, to give you some motivation behind using open source uh, based Neo4j. So number one motivation that I would like to give you all is that uh, it's open source, okay? <laughs> so open source is always best. Uh, I hope you all guys also like it, but I'm really a strong supporter of open source code. And secondly, uh, the most important reason is that it can be explained by doing some comparison of it with SQL, normal SQL based databases. And uh, I'm sure, most of you have problems uh, with writing really complex queries when your data gets big, when your uh, application has a lot of data and a lot of tables, a lot of sch big schema in relation to the database. So what you're going to do, you have to, if you have to query some complex information, then you have to query your whole data and different tables and then you have to make joins and the foreign keys and this basically gets you your data right but uh neo4j comes along and solves this problem efficiently in my view uh what it does it just defines relationships and between graph i'm sure you all are familiar with the ideas of graph to represent any kind of information or states so here uh, the idea is the same so i will show you a picture here uh from neo4j's website itself it's not my product but i'm just going to use it to explain it to you guys so now uh as you'll no, just imagine an sql based schema right you have to find uh the department of alice for example right so what you're going to do this is really a small schema of course it will not be that difficult for you as most of the people know sql but in later, when you have 10 or 8 tables linked like this, and I've worked into some complex schemas before during my previous job, and I remember how many joints I had to make and many things. Then after joints, you have to uh, do many things more, like improve your database, provide indexes. Anyway, we will not uh, dive deep into it. So let's go here and okay. Now we have a person's table, we have a department members table and we have a department table, right? Now, um, here we can see that uh, on the person table, there is an ID 815 with Alice and we want to check uh, which uh, department does she belong to. So uh, there you go, right? Uh, a person can also belong from two departments and that's your many to many case. So you can say, okay, so of course, to define this management relationship, you will translate that to into a, a junction table, right? Which is in the middle, which is called department members. So here you have Alice and in the department manager table, you can see there is 815 ID associated with 111, which is the department for four future and PO815 uh, has ID 119, which is also the department of Alice. Period this, you have to make joints right to get the department of alice and but how do you translate that into much simpler way you know graph databases and specifically neo4j has the solution for you so if you look at this uh screenshot or this image what it defines here that you have a person on the left you have its defined person uh here you can consider it as a node Okay, and firstly, I would like to tell you, every piece of data is a node. And every piece of uh, relation, they just have one thing in them, that's relation. Nothing more, nothing less. Just nodes and relation stats, 
of all that you can use to define your data. Nothing more than that, really. And uh, you don't have to apply any foreign keys or many things later. Anyway, then we can uh, see here, this is our person node, Alice, and we will directly map Alice to the departments it belongs to, right? So these are our nodes and these are our departments. See, Alice can belong to three departments. So we can say A42, P0815, and for future. And these are the relations between them. And now how easy it would be to query your data. You know, you just have to write with department just Alice belongs to and you got your data, except writing joints or many things. So this is the main motivation behind uh, uh, Neo4j. So this is the this is it for now. I hope you get a good idea about and good motivation about using the open source Neo4j database. So I'm going to use it with my Node.js backend. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to set up it in a container uh, with Docker Compose into our application. So see you soon. Thanks for watching.